we're going to draw the Lewis structure for OF2 oxygen difluoride. First thing to note is that oxygen and fluorine are both non-metals. They come from the upper right-hand side of the periodic table. When two non-metals combine, they form a molecular or covalent compound. That means they're going to share electrons. It is not an ionic compound where there's a transfer of electrons. Now to draw the Lewis structure for molecular compounds, first I count the total number of valence electrons that the atoms bring. Oxygen in group 16 brings six valence electrons with it, and fluorine in group 17 brings seven valence electrons each, but there are two of them in this molecule, so it's seven times two for the number of them that there are. 6 plus 14 gives me 20 electrons total. All right, we're going to draw the central atom and the surrounding atoms with single bonds to start. Now, usually the central atom is the one written first in the formula, especially when there's only two uh, atoms written. So I'm going to put my oxygen there, single bond it to a fluorine on this side, and single bond it to a fluorine on that side. I'm going to add lone pairs to complete the octets of the outer atoms until they're full. I need 20 electrons, and currently I only have two, four drawn. So let's uh, complete the octets on the outer atoms here. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Remember that the octet rule means each of the nonmetals wants eight electrons in its valence shell to be happy and stable. This fluorine now has six in lone pairs, but also this two in the bond around it. So it has eight and is happy and stable. Now, if you have extra electrons, put them on the center atom. Well, I only counted 16 electrons total and I do need 20. So I'm going to dump them onto the center atom 17, 18, 19, 20. You may have to have an expanded octet on that atom, depending on the molecule. Not this one, though. This one is perfect. And then if you have an incomplete octet on the center atom, you'll move lone pairs into the bonds. Now, this oxygen, though, already has two, four, six, eight electrons. It has a complete octet. This is done. It's over. We did it. But if it was short of electrons, we'd have to move lone pairs to form double, maybe even triple bonds, just to make sure the octet rule is satisfied. Well, there you go. There's the Lewis structure of oxygen difluoride. Congratulations, you did it. Best of luck.